Hi everyone, in this third tutorial I'm going to show some ways to create patterns. I'll start by making this symmetric pattern, which I'll make with the mirror tool. Then I'll create this zigzag pattern. And finally I'll make this hexagonal pattern by using the transform tools. These patterns could either be projects by themselves, or they could be adapted into other projects. So let's create the symmetric band, which could be part of a bracelet or a belt. This is really easy to make with the mirror tool. To create a mirror, click on the mirror tool, then click on the part of the canvas where you want to place the mirror. Now each time I add a bead to the canvas, a bead will appear on both sides of the mirror. By clicking the mirror tool again, you can change the mirror direction. You start with a vertical mirror, then a horizontal mirror, then both. I'm going to create this design with both mirrors enabled. For this design, I'm going to just build up chevron patterns with different colors, just making it up as I go. If I don't like something, I could just erase or draw over the part I don't like. That's my first pattern finished. The next design I'm going to make is also a loom pattern. This time I'll start with a small shape and keep repeating it in different colors. I'm starting with a zigzag shape, but this will work with other shapes too. I'm cloning the shape by holding down Alt and changing its style with the beads on the palette. Now I have a repeating pattern, I'll select all the beads by pressing the A key and I'll clone the entire pattern a few times. Finally, I'm going to delete beads I don't want. I'm going to draw a marquee tool around the beads I want to keep, then press the I key to invert my selection and delete the selected beads with the backspace key. And there's our finished pattern. For the third pattern, we'll use a brick stitch layout. I'll start by creating a little triangle with three colors, and then I'm going to clone it like I did before. But this time, every time I clone the pattern, I'll rotate it and add it to the previous shape. Now I have half a hexagon, I can clone this whole shape and rotate it by 180 degrees. Now I have the finished pattern. I hope you enjoyed these tips for quickly creating patterns. Experiment with the transform and mirror tools and see what you can make.